Hello, and welcome to another day with the quad function generator. Uh, so I'm going to look at the cycle mode in sort of two parts because I think it makes the most sense. Uh, we're going to look at it below audio rate today, so LFO basically, and we are going to look at it above audio rate the next day. So when these four are operating more like oscillators. Uh, so let's sort of s start. Everything's in cycle mode, as you can see. All four knobs are up. Um, so what that does is, you know, these are cycling independently, although you can take the end of gate out and plug it in and sync the cycle modes um, together. And maybe we'll get to that. We'll see what happens. Um, so what I have is... Um, this output is going to the uh, shape input, so the wave shaper input on an oscillator. And this is what it sounds like. Okay, okay so we're just changing the wave shape around, not doing anything too fancy. Um, I was thinking about, you know, what would Morton Sabotnik do? Um, so I have the audio going into an Optimix, and it has both a strike input and a control input. Um, so what we can do is double gate um, this signal using two different LFOs. Um, so we're going to use this one. We're going to use the pulse output to strike the gate. And that sounds like this. <laughs> Okay. We're going to use the second one to hit the control. And now we've got two competing rhythms going on out of one audio signal. And I hadn't thought about this. We might try putting the control. It's a little less obvious, but if we kind of turn the volume more towards the strike channel, that's fun. All right, so we've got something here, and then, you know, we can take the fourth channel somewhere else. Uh, I don't really have anything else plugged in, but, you know, one volt per octave. That's fun. <laughs> uh, do we have a BCA I can use? Let's try that. Come here, you. Oh. Turn the free. <laughs> so you can imagine with a delay, this is a lot of fun. Um, just for fun. So if we're going from the gate out of one into the trigger of the fourth channel, which is controlling our pitch. <laughs> and all of a sudden we have a fairly complex sound happening. There's audio rate modulation. <laughs> so we have all these wild sounds just from, you know, this one simple box. 
So I hope that gives you some ideas to play with.